Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. I still don't have a standardized way for greeting everyone to my stream. This is because I'm a rank noob. Um, hello, everyone. Hello, welcome back. My name is Jamie. Um, we're going to be diving into some more Pokemon Shield. Um, because what I was playing last night, um, on <laughs> far from far from getting my clock cleaned, um, very thoroughly um, by a, a gigantic onyx um, the size of Arkansas. Um, far far from that, we actually got an awful lot of really cool leveling done, um, uh, which is really sweet. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive right back into it. I'm going to press buttons on the thing here. Too many buttons. I'm getting too old. Um, there we go. A boom. And um, yes, we did an awful lot of really cool leveling. Um, we got probably about five or six levels across most of the team. Um, Score Bunny um, also managed to uh, level up um, to the point where he evolved. Uh, so that was quite that was quite cool. Um, I'm going to get gender nouns uh, mixed up all the time um, because I'm a horrible person. But this Snickers is a male Pokemon. Yes, most of the rest of the team is female. Excellent. Um, that's inclusive, except for Gara. We're not sure what Gara is, and everyone's too polite to ask. So um, we have a neuter uh, Pokemon. Um, tons of female female Pokemon and uh, a male Snickers. So yeah, this is the state of the team at the moment. Um, so yeah, sorry. Point of that entire aside was, I'm going to get pronouns mixed up. So I'm sorry. Um, Snickers is now a slightly different looking Snickers. I think he retains just his fire type though. He is a Raboot. Raboot. Um. So yeah, he's a fire. He's not a fire fighting or fire flying or any of that craziness. Um, I, th I think they're just pure types, um, the starters. Um, so we have our Raboot. Um, our Lotad evolved to Lombre, uh, which is nifty. Uh, Rookady is still Rookady. I should imagine there will be an evolution coming soon, maybe 18, um, if it follows like your standard Pidgeotto kind of. Uh, thing Baltoy, I'm really pleased with Baltoy actually. Um, those are wicked types, ground and psychic to have in the party at this stage. Um, Yamper, well, he's just lovely, isn't it? I mean, he is very obviously the goodest boy ever. Um, female, goodest girl, uh, and a purloin. I, I used to think that said purloin, but it doesn't. It act, they've actually gone for the, they've actually gone for the full pun. So it's purloin. Um, very pretty. Uh, Muta has not done anything, has not done any sort of uh, evolutionizing or evolving or anything like that yet. Um, so I think Muta is our lowest level. Uh, Gara is also low level. Yeah. So this is the state of the team. Ah, I'm pressing A instead of B, that's why. Again, rank new. Um, so here we go. Uh, we have. Uh, Snickers. Uh, we have so we have a score bunny. We have a lombre. Tiny raven. A baltoy. Yamper. Erloin. And that is the situation at the moment. Now, um, we could just go diving in there, um, and I am very tempted to do that. But I think this area has yet more Pokemon that we can obtain. Um, I am, however, going to switch Snickers out from his. I think we'll place Chewy in the top slot for now. 50 watts. Very nice. No idea what this is. Let's, let's give it a fish. Ooh, that, was, that was sudden. And guess what? I figure we just wreck this magic up and move on. Oh, the sunlight is hot. Hmm, nuzzle. Magic up, going first, as always, like a boss. Tick, 
takes a super effective hit to the face and survives like a boss. If there are any better Pokemon than Magikarp, I, I don't know. I, I've never heard of that. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry it had to be this way. Okay. I rather suspect that the Pokemon in the in the hot seat gets more experience. Um, that would make a lot of sense. Is that Wingull going to come all the way? No, <laughs> it's just going to hang there, not moving. Alrighty. Let's fish one more time and see what we get. My reflexes of Ooh! Goldeen. That I will take. I will accept the offering of Goldeen. I don't think I wanna I don't think I wanna nuzzle it though, I don't want it dying on the accident. But... Yeah, it's not gonna fine. Okay, that's cool. We can whittle it down. Yeah, I want to make sure that we go through an area. I'm, I don't think I really want to grind really heavily at this stage. Um, I'd like to... And fuzzle. I'm going to a ball at that point, I think. And we're getting a bit low on pokeballs as well. I'll open the box in a moment and uh, show you guys the situation with the box in case you missed the stream last night. We have picked up quite a few new Pokemon. Um, we didn't have anything like the struggles that we had the first time. I think after after getting properly rinsed by Onyx. Um, how are we doing? Chewy levels up to 15. And wants to use wants to learn Raw. This is the one where someone else is dragged out, isn't it? I'll replace Tail Whip because I'm not really fond of the debuff moves. Instead. Rotom, tell us about Goldeen. It is a goldfish. Its fins are developed like muscles. Hmm. <laughs> Swims at five miles an hour. Wow. Drop you in a box for now. Have a look. I think it's Pokemon, then you can press R1, can't you? There we go. Okay, so um, obviously we have our Squibbit, we have our Tootle, Magikarp, Nickit, Zigzagoon, Blipbug from the first couple of games. Yesterday evening, uh, on the silent stream, we picked up a Grow Live, Funnelby. Oh yes, that's right. We put Carlos in a box for now, didn't we? A Metapod, which we should probably bring into the party, actually, so that he can evolve, because it won't be too long. Is it 16 or 18 or something? He'll hit his final evolution. Uh, Mudbray. Tyrogue. Um, Oddish. Buddy. Stuffle. Hancham. Ooh, who knows? Some very cool moves. Uh, Diggersby. Uh, Angry Pigeon and Goldeen. So we are not doing too badly in terms of populating our box. Uh, so today what I want to do is I just want to make sure that we've cleaned out this area properly. There's another stuff more. More gro grow Live is well up for it. <laughs> grow Live's absolutely chasing me everywhere. Can't get down there and that's probably a good thing because that smacks with being a whoa. Are you a new Pokemon? You're a psychic type, aren't you? Whoa! I want more beef, man. Uh, let's have a look. Do we have anyone who can go toe to toe? With a psychic, we'd probably want a dark type. Uh, Perloin Muta knows no dark moves. Tiny Raven might be able to put up a bit of a fight. See, what worries me though is that is a Zatu. 
or a Natu. Natu or Zatu. Whatever it is, I think that's the second... Is that the second form? No, it's the first form, because the second form stands up and is like... More like a flightless emperor penguin. Okay, we'll give this guy a go. Okay. Okay. Hello. Coming down. Yeah. A very strong looking Zatu. See chat, this is what I'm this is what I'm talking about. You gotta stop letting me do these things. Don't let me do these things. Level 26, am I mental? Uh, I'm not gonna survive this. Nightshade. Always does 30 damage, is that Nightshade? Oh well. Super effective and it slightly damaged his left eyebrow. Look. Although he is paralysed. 26, 26, 26. If we do this, he gets a free hit on us. Let's try some dark moves. The paralysis is going to help with capturing him. And no berries for you. That'll learn him. Okay, so that's always doing 26 damage. Okay, so Nightshade is obviously the one that does damage equal to your level. I've forgotten more than I'll ever know again, I think, about this game. Power trip! Wallop! Okay, that's <laughs> absolutely nothing. No! Oh, this is going to go so badly wrong. One more nightshade and it's all over. Oh. I forgot he could do that. Ah. Okay, well, now we know. Really, really don't mess with the Pokemon that are standing around outside. Um, let's just med the team a bit. After I keep introducing them to no-win scenarios. Okay, we are a little bit low. I wonder how this works. Who's our lowest person, Gara or Muta? A hundred, okay, that's not too shabby. Whoa. Do not want to beef with any more snubble, uh, stuffle. Stuffle becomes. Oh, who are you? Uh, another donkey. Well, this is a ground type donkey, um, so we need to get Yamper out of there. Uh, ground type, ground type. Right. It's gotta be Lombre, I think. Yeah, that could have hurt if we'd left the electric turn out. Um, we have one of these donkeys, so we can, we can break this one. Oh. Yes, do, um, do forgive me. I have a better snack today. Got a coded by Doe. Um, and it's stopping the haste from being released from talk, talking properly. Um, hopefully. Ooh. Hopefully, it won't affect the stream too badly. I should like to get to most stoke today and just have a look at it. Most of the team was single di was single digits um, when we began yesterday. 
So the fact that we're now sort of well into the teens is a good thing. Gara has leveled up. Muta has leveled up. Excellent. Excellent. Give me the donkeys, man. I'm paranoid about the... Oh, hello. This is a new area. Do I want to be in a new area? Okay, there's my chop there. There's that porcupine thingy. My chop is well up for a fight again. I wonder if that's. I wonder if that's a fighting type thing. If fighting type Pokemon are always up for a fight. Always spoiling for it. Hello, sir. Hello. We found a bit of a rare item. Okay. Two EXP candies. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Hmm. Cool. And a trope over there. I think we're gonna leave this area. There's a griffin in. I think I think we're gonna leave this area behind for now. I rather worry that we aren't we aren't geared enough for that area. The rolling fields sounds far more pleasant. Uh, far less dangerous. Um, oh, you're yellow. Why are you yellow? A wild funnel bee. what that means. But let's go easy on this funnel bit and catch it and see what happens. Yeah. Say no. Let's have a look at his summary and see what the deal is here. So we're level 10. Male Bunnelby. <laughs> it is a docile but vain Pokemon. Okay, I can't see anything particularly special about this Bunnelby. I wonder if it has good. St I wonder if it will have good stats when it levels up. Oh, no, I didn't mean it. Central box. Central box. I went off. Hundred and six. Ah, okay. Do we just get whops then? Does it? Does it? Oh. Caught by this guy. Tyrogue. Paralysis should make him go second and back. Oh, 
not sure what happened to his fake out there. Helping hand, they keep doing this. They did this all last night. Why why helping hand? Who is Who is coming to save you? No one, that's who. Because he ran into Chewy. Lombre levels up. Very nice. Okay, I think we really do need to get healed up now. Oh. Yep, there is an item there. Lovely. A bit paranoid now that I'm missing loads of items. And this is punishing me slow, this area as well. It's like, come on. Okay, let's heal up. It's nice to know that there are Pokemon around who are going to give us Watts as well. I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's a use for these Watt things over and above giving them to random guys in the middle of the forest who uh, want me to buy these rare items sight unseen. Mm, how do I? Now, didn't I pick up a jar of honey yesterday? And a Pokeball here yesterday. And a jar of honey there yesterday. I'm sure I did. Maybe they respawn. That makes sense. Yes, we want to shake the berry tree. I shake, I shake, I shake, I shake. Shake some more. I don't know why it's still shaking without me shaking it. Is it going to fall down? Uh, no. There we go. One of each of the main kinds of berry. I think we will go to Motorstoke now and have a look. Because I did a load of faffing around around here last night. And we don't need to do any more just at the moment. So let... Oh, let's do it again. Ooh, ingredients. Potatoes mellow a spicy taste. Yes, we do. Uh, mushrooms transforms any dish. Pre-cooked burger. Noodles go well with curry. Who knew? Fried food. It's a bit greasy. I'll pick up a couple of everything. Any mushrooms there? I don't think I'll get a couple of fresh cream I think I'll, um, I think I'll just grab the one. Oh, Alrighty. Another visit tomorrow. Okay, pal. Nice, pal. Now, there's a red beam coming from that den. All the dens we've looked at so far were red, but they did not have a beam coming out of them. So I am curious what this me. Oh, hello. Tiny shroom! Uh, who, who have we got in the. Okay, in case this kicks off into an encounter, let us put our best foot forward. And see what this does. 300 watts. Okay. 
I have no one else to invite at the moment. Some trainers will join the battle. Okay, I get friends to bring in with me, that's good. This is my first one of these, so don't judge me too harshly. So Hoot Hoot is the boss. Hoot Hoot is flying, might be possibly some, might have a little bit of normal type in there. So let's give it some knuckle. Gear some welly. Probably is going to get like a mad thing. That is very cool. Ah. My shot, super effective. What's that? Bonk. Match not really good. What a. Wow. I like that. I like this. Oh dear. Max air string. That hurt. Considerably. And he gets faster. So we need to end this battle as soon as we can. Uh, um, right. Okay. Let's do a flare. I don't think it matters what we use. I think most of our abilities, unless they're super effective. Evie is ready to help. That's handy. Okay, so he has nullified. He gets an air screen. And his speed increases again. Throw a Pokeball now. Okay. Drop it, lad. Drop it. Dynamax Pokeball. Yeah. <laughs> As one chunky boy. Two. Three. What happens if it's not caught? Does it just reappear and get all its health back? Whoa, okay. Serious loots. Not sure what a Dynamax candy is. Possibly. Ah, there was a Dynamax level earlier, wasn't there, when we were looking at the summaries. Dynamax level can be leveled up independently, it would seem. We lost berry. Citrus belly. And try attack. And we caught a hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. The whip to woo. Okay. I'm trying to use them like clocks. What? Yes, we'll call you Alexa. <laughs> Sorry, I should not say that. If you're watching this video later and your Alexa kicks off, then I'm sorry. Wouldn't want your Alexa to switch on for no reason, would we? Oh, I'm not getting one of those things. I'm not getting one. What's that? Oh, that's just some rock. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Well, that's the geography. <laughs> Here we go. We could have a look over there. But 
but I'm tempted to move things along a little bit down here. Oh yes, one of you again. You were like level 40 something yesterday. That didn't go well at all. Uh, there's no red thing coming out of this, so I'll just sneakily grab Sneakily grab them. Right, okay, we're still exploring and we need to go to my stoke. Gotta stop exploring randomly. Okay. This looks like a very big city. I'm not sure if it's the very big city. It's certainly a very big city. Wow, you can tell how steampunk we are because we have working gears on the buildings themselves. How you get any sleep at night in a building like that, I don't know. Maybe the rumble. Maybe it's like a white noise thing, I don't know. That gym badge, lo that gym logo looks horribly squished. Uh, I've lost my ability to move the camera around. Here in the Galar region, I'd say it's fair to call the champion a regional hero. We're all transfixed by everything he does. Okay. This city is just massive. I need to keep checking my town map, otherwise I know I'll get lost. Thank you for that. Minty, minty, minty. Right on, but that's my Minchino. Shrinking down to fit in Pokeballs, and the next thing you know, growing massive by Dynamaxing. Must be a lot of work for Pokemon. You are quite an empath empathetic person. Well, Minchino likes things neat and tidy. It'll brush away any dust with its tail. Okay. Sonia. Hey, over here. Where are you? Oh, Alright. I guess we're talking to Sonia. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Thank you. Seems like your trek ran your Pokemon ragged though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. I would have done that if we weren't talking to you. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of, if you're a real trainer and all. The sass is monstrous in this game, isn't it? Nobody saw me drop that. Oh, looks like the Rotomi's free. Rotomi are a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customise your league card. Why don't you try playing around with your league card a bit, Jamie? Here's a sample for you. Mm. Show off your achievements by making a league card. You can customise your card using the card maker found at every Pokemon Centre. Doing so will also update your card with all your latest information. Trainers all have their own league cards and you can swap cards with other trainers that you blah 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 Okay. Motorstoke sure is big, right? Not to worry. Sonya is here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I think how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. Hmm. Is this is the UK and so football? Hello, chaps. The road to inside Vitomia are rather fond of the card maker. I try not to judge. 
it's always better to weaken a Pokemon before you try and catch it. For example, you can lower its HP or use moves to put it to sleep or something. Thanks for that, buddy. Uh, well, Rotomi, you can go for jobs. This is going to send me on missions, isn't it? This is going to be another MMO that's just like more work. <laughs> Make a new update my current league card. I'll print your card out just like this. That just makes me look like I'm very tall. Now it's hyper steampunk. Prefer the hunting titan. And yeah, I don't want that guy's shorts on my uh, new. That's the Hufflepuff pattern. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. Hi from Turkey, Toast Cross. Hello, hello from Turkey. Uh, I'm in the UK. <laughs> How are you doing? I hope the um, I hope the weather there is uh, better um, for you than it is here. It's all a bit gross outside, I'm afraid. It's good to see you. Thank you for joining the stream. I am currently failing um, to build a training card. We get very okay. We get various effects, and we get a bokeh effect. That's lovely. Some flames. Those are those watty flames, aren't they? I wonder if we can something a bit more. Hmm. That just chops off my feet in a strange way. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that. Uh, choose the reprint option. Thank you for that. Right, let's heal up. Yes, please do. No clue what the weather is like. I am sorry to hear that. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. Reboot and the rest of your team should be all better. Yeah, we can often have all the seasons in one day. <laughs> Mostly the cold, rainy stuff. Um, but occasionally we just get some brilliant sunshine for half an hour and the sun is like, yeah, I could do this all the time if I wanted to, but I won't. And then it disappears for the next six months. Hey guys, why are the two of you that look exactly the same? Heel ball. I have a few. Net. Okay, okay. Oh. So you're the generic dude. Take, take that. We are a bit low on potions. Not doing too badly for everything else, though. Ditto. I haven't caught a ditto yet. I don't think I've even seen one. Uh, no, you can't help me. No one can help me. If you've got a Bumblebee, would you like to trade it for a Squabbit? Why would we want to? I'll say yes, because we do have a spare one. That was the, that was the one... Oh, I see. <laughs> yes. 
ditto pretending to be people. That was hella creepy in Detective Pikachu. I was, yeah, I was not prepared for that, actually. I was watching that with my children. <laughs> and um, I'm sure they, they didn't glance at me at the moment that that came up on the screen, but I would have been uh, rather sort of <laughs> horrified. Um, let's trade her the normal bunnel bee that we have. That isn't the really cool one. Oh, it's got roll out as well. That's nice. <sighs> Try this one. Trade it. See you later, Bunnelby. And we have a swabbit. Look at those cheeks. Take good care of cheekers. Yeah, you got it, homie. Does box? Does this bundle be uh, squavit have anything special? Cheekers has stuffed cheeks. That's a cool move. Holding an orange berry. Okay, not too shabby there. realize now I should probably have called that Senora Cheeks. I'm going to click on you. Change your markings. Uh, to say that I got you in a trade. Hmm, not sure. Okay, I'm glad we can do this actually, because this is very helpful. Um, let's change its name to uh, and then we're going to get the hell out of here so that we can actually do some more and get on with the game. I don't want to sit here doing admin. Hell no. Please let that be the end of the tutorializing. I can see Sonia waiting outside for me. She's going to ask me to do stuff. Okay. This is a very suspicious dead end. Yes, I thought so. And a nugget. Very nice. A nugget of purest gold. This is better than a nugget of purest green. Oh, we don't need to sell it now. We don't. We don't need anything. Yeah, I thought that was rather bizarre. Hello, person. I never get tired of watching those giant steam-powered gears turning. Really? Yeah, I've already spent ten seconds too long. Motor Stoke is something else. What other city has a lift? To take you between the upper and lower districts. Wham! I got punched in the face with the exposition. Uh, hello. What? What? Why am I? What? Why am I turning back? No! If I, I can't go that way, please tell me I can't go that way. Don't just give me random exposition and expect me to work it out. <laughs> that tutel is about to nom all the things. Go on then, Sonia. Fine. So, brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area, do you remember what your goal in Motorstoke is? Uh, um, gym challenge. Yup, the gym challenge opening ceremony. No, it's okay, Sonia, we'll follow you. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Motorstoke Stadium, okay? I got it. Use that lift over there to get to the stadium. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, <laughs> dropping a nugget worth thousands. Although I you walk through a, you walk through any normal city and you'll see people dropping shoes and, and socks. I saw a sock on the way to school the other day. 
drop the kids off. And I was just like, how do you lose a sock? How does it... Oh, I don't even, I don't even know how you lose a sock. Don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? I'm going to guess that we should probably register at the stadium. It's wonderful that there's space for Steeny to relax and enjoy itself. In fact, I'm tempted to join it and quench my thirst too. Uh, can we drink here? No, we can't. Randomly showing me that. Can I see what this is? No. I see that you're working on a Pokedex. You'll meet lots of different Pokemon if you head to the wild area. I think I found some huge, frightening, scary Pokemon in the wild area. Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer? Yeah, let me give you something nice. Try using it on your Pokemon. TR. Not TM. That's a new thing. Focus energy. The user takes a deep breath on here. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, TR's a vintage. Clever, okay. It's a vinyl. You can use them to have your Pokemon learn rare moves. They break after one use, which is extra old school. Right, that's useful information. I think I've got another TR as well. Didn't we? There we go. Yeah, we picked up. Try attack. That's it. Okay, so they look darker. <laughs> Thought we might pick up an 8-track or something. Nugget! Lots of new stuff. Um, that's Dynamax Snickers. Um... Use the excess candy on Mooton. How many? Uh, useful. Uh, Gara. Okay. Um, sure. Experience candy S. Eight hundred, wow, okay. Gara wants to learn Psybeam. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we shall have Psybeam. Um it can probably just overwrite. Very nice. Should we just overwrite confusion with it? Ah. There we go. Because it's just tougher. We'll probably suffer a um a PP hit butt. Who says quench my thirst anymore? This is yeah, this is this is an interesting thing. Obviously, the um to localize a, a title like this um, is going to be a, a challenge in its own right. But, but I think they may have. Um, I think I think the vernacular that the that they're using is very US English. <laughs> Shall we say? Um, so there's, there's a lot of uh, you gotta do this and, and, and stuff that wouldn't necessarily say in the UK. Quench my thirst does sound quite archaic as well. Alrighty, let's see what they've got. Yeah, sport sweatshirt, which I can't even oh, hang on. take off the outerwear. There we go. Hollywood top, that's not. Three quarter sleeve polo. You see, I could, I, could, I could pull off a polo, I think. Or rather, put on a polo. Um, navy. Okay, so this is the polo top place. Goodie the chance. 
Can, is there any way I can take off the bag? Tracky bottoms. All right, that is a bit. That is that is a bit English. That one. Tracky bottoms. Designer denim. I refuse to wear ripped jeans. Life's too short. Plaid, 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 plaid. Okay. This is plaid and denim. A go go. Chuck a boot, whatever they are. Plaid bag. Uh, the sport sunglasses do look very cool. I will try them. Half room glasses. Mm. Already got a pair of those. The shop music is the most extra thing. It, it, it's a little bit much, isn't it? It's a bit. I mean, a little bit of music is fine. I prefer something. I prefer something really chilled out, unless it's unless it's actual sort of actual music. Uh, yes, we're done. I think. I would be very tempted to buy all the things and. Uh, no such thing as youth fashion or old people's fashion, only good fashion. That's probably why you're wearing a pink knitted sweater vest then, buddy. Hmm. I'm not going to take your advice. I'm looking for something that'll make me stand out, even in a vast wild area. A banana yellow polo is probably going to do exactly that. Clothes I like the best aren't necessarily the most flattering. It's a real struggle. Struggle is real. Okay, we'll <laughs> spare you the shop music uh, now, Toast Crust. I think I think you've suffered enough. Oh, a barber. I like these in Warcraft. I do spend hours in here. What would you like to do today? Hair. Hmm. Looks like you're shy on cash. Oxen. Yeah, same to you, buddy. I'm not actually sure what this does, so I'm not sure I want to drop three grand on it just yet. Hello. We use the Pokemon move growth to raise our flowers so they get rather large. I always bring flowers home on special days or even normal days. And my Pokemon loves the scent of flowers so much. Well, that's fine. Well, now that was a red pillar box. <laughs> ah. Thanks, man. I suppose we should do what we are here to do. It's another record. Another record shot. Yeah, let me give you these high tech earbuds. Oh no, no, thank me, it's just a whim. What do they do? Freely control the volume of various sounds. It's a bookshop and you won't even let me in. That's shocking. Something in the corner, paralyzed heel. Gratefully received. Grrr. Uh oh. Speaking of extra. This guy. This guy right here. I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. Even with a huge old thing like this, bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. They're really, really hammering home the fact that he has no direction sense. Jamie, alright! One look tells me you've become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. And yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this. Here, try giving this to your partner to hold. Well, that's 
some kind. It's not even Christmas. Uh, it boosts fire type moves. Okay. You can take that lift up to the city's upper level if you're headed for the stadium next. <laughs> yeah, that lift. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not that bad with direction. Plus, Leon's whole deal is being extra. Yeah, that comes across. <laughs> oh, wow. I was not expecting that to do that. That's very cool. And my rival is waiting for me. I'm going to go this way. Because I like to go... Oh. Again, turned back with random conversation. Hey, guys. No, I'm not talking to you. Ha! Is that... What is that? You never know. That could actually be a Pokemon. Ta-da! You took the time to talk to a Pokeball, so you deserve a little reward. Don't give me a Pokeball. Ah! Oh, come on. Come on. In case you were wondering, I'm not just any old Pokeball. No, you're a Voltor with legs. But then who am I, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. They call me the... Oh, no, they went there. They call me the ball guy. Well, stick me in a plant pot and call me Daisy. Whoa, that's a reason to turn back. Cool. That it? That all I get? You look like you're in the wrong game, love. You look like you should be in Splatoon. Corviknight, Latin Corvus, I mean Raven, is a Pokemon that flies all about, carrying people where they want to go. But even they get tuckered out. He doesn't look tuckered out to me. He looks deadly. He looks hella dangerous. Okay, that probably says Stadium. Don't know. Hello, hop. You made it too? Motorstoke Stadium? This is where the opening ceremony will be held. Everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. My mum, your mum, the whole world. My mum is my world. Hey mum. Get me a bit nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nerves. I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Jamie, it's time the whole world learned our names. I'm not sure the whole world would be watching. Who are you? Everyone participating in the gym challenge is welcome to stay at the Buddy Drop In. Just drop in. We league staff are here to provide support for the various matches that occur throughout the gym challenge. Okay, can I get into here? Oh, yes, I can. Yes, they're bound to have dumped some... A long time ago, I found a bin in Pokemon. It could have rewarded me for running all that way. Found a trash can, found a bin in Pokemon, and I clicked on it, and it had something in it. And every single Pokemon game since, I have checked every single bin. And I've never found anything in a bin ever again. But I am compelled to try. I am compelled to find all these hidden things. It's like Grand Theft Auto 3. It was like, you're a criminal, you've just busted out of prison, and now you can, like be more of a criminal and I was like no no I need a, I need a ride and I need the secret pack pass, uh, packages show me the packages please it was like no you should go and shoot people in the Chinese quarter I'm like no actually I would like the secret packages please show me to the secret packages and that's all I ever did in GTA 3 was boost sweet ride sweet rides and find packages would you take a look at this the place is packed with gym challengers Every one of these folks is another rival. 
sorry about all this story. We will actually we will actually battle some Pokemon soon. Let's get signed up. Yes. I like her. I like her poker glove for the for the spin of the Pokeball. Seriously? What a piece of work! If you're here to register for the gym challenge, I'll need to see your endorsement, please. <laughs> right here, buddy. I got your endorsement right here. Fancy that. This is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Well, now you've had two, because I am as well. What? Two of you at once? I wonder what's come over Leon this year. I think we just pestered him and pestered him and pestered him until he gave in. The two of you must be something special. I'm Hop. I'm Leon's little brother, in fact, and the next champion. Buddy, <laughs> don't be so sure. Get me all signed up, would you? I'm really sure you actually have to do some signing, Hop. Well, well yes, I I'm trying to... If you'll just give me a moment... There, you two have been successfully registered as gym challengers. You can now choose your preferred number for your uniform, if you'd be so kind. It will be displayed on the back of the uniform you must wear for any official match. What do we reckon? It's a three digit number. We can do an awful lot with three digits. Ah. I wonder what we can do with this. I mean, if I just put a single digit, would it just appear as a single digit or would it call it 002 or? We can do all kinds of interesting things. 007. Um, Nine eleven. Uh, oof, what else? Three fifty seven Magnum. We got three Wolf three five nine. We've got <sighs> my name is James, after all. Number double oh seven, is it? Very well. And here, please wear this challenge band at all times to identify yourself as a gym challenger. The opening ceremony for the gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All the trainers taking part have been booked a room at the nearby Bud You Drop Inn. That's the league chairman for you! Even booked us all hotel rooms! He's got to be dodgy. Something's got to be dodgy. It's too nice here. This isn't Britain! I'm off to check the fancy digs. Oh, I assume that's what he said because I missed it. I just keep auto pressing A for everything. Thanks, man. Okay, let's just do a quick. Um, and then Lee Car. Here we are. Is this it? Is this it? BP. If I have a blood pressure of zero, then that's distressing on a number of levels. Okay. Oh, flip the card. Ooh, that's more like it. Curry decks. One kind of curry. I like that as well, where there are like secret little hidden things to... No shiny Pokemon found. Yes, rub it in, why don't you? 26 Pokemon caught. That's not too bad. ID number, used for finding shinies. Ah, uh, no, no, let's not do that right now. Okay, dokey. Let's have a look at the town map. Where is the bud you drop in? 
That's a root, that's a root. Okay, so it's got to be in here. Okay, so we're just going to have to find it. Lots of people to talk to. Presumably he's going to tell me not to go through that door. He's going to tell me... You should go and check your hair again. Yes, mate. Everyone already knows. Trends were endorsed by the chairman and the champion. Oh, I don't know who that could be. I mean, gosh. Let's all do our utmost. Mm. I don't know. I think I might just I might half ass it and it, phone it in. What do you reckon? I know you're supposed to talk to everyone, but I, I can't face actually talking to everyone. Oh, this guy. <laughs> you must be Challenger Jamie. The budge you drop in is down this way. If you'd be so kind as to follow me. Man, I thought I'd hit the arcade first, you know? Maybe a ramen parlour. I'm looking forward to getting out of all the exposition. Challenger Jamie, we have arrived at the Budgie Drop-In. Well, that's very kind, Mr. Walking Uber. Try to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. I'll do my best. Get my head down. Let's see how we go. I'm smudging you every bit. Continuing with the theme of being extra. Hiya. Looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh, hey, Sonia. What are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering wheel. I reckon if I look into some of Galar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're here already anyway. What's this then? It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Right, right quick. Yeah. Um, ordinarily, if it was me on my own, I'd want all the details, but I think since I'm streaming this, uh, the short version. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and shield. The statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. Huh, I suppose that hero must have been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're going to have your hands full with plenty to research though, Sonia. Black storms and swords and shields and all. You'll be alright. Eh, thanks. I'll muddle through somehow. Don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Probably so. And we'll look out for you too, Sonia. If we hear anything about any hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. Mm. That doesn't seem scientifically rigorous to me, but there we are. Nothing hidden in the corners. Come on. Come on. Why even have corners if you're not going to hide anything in the corners? Shut up. Fine. Ooh, these guys look punky and funky. Are they going to be the baddies? Hello? What's the deal with this team yell? I can't check in. Hey, guys. I'm just one of you. We came all the way out to this big city so that we could properly cheer on gym challengers. Team Yell is here to help, after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. Yes. <laughs> oh, guys, facial tats, come on. What if one day you'd like to be an accountant? Didn't we tell you, mate? 
you get in our way and you're in for a battle. Team Yell is all about helping. Helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us make some noise. I can do that. We are challenged by Team Yell Grunt. Is it a yell or is it a grunt? I mean, those are different things, really. I'm different shades of confused right now. Uh, you've brought out a normal and a dark type. This isn't going to go well. This should be quad damage. Wallop! Defeated the team grunt yell. We're looking for a fight and I lost. I'm so pathetic. Yes, yes you are. Go away. Oi, give me a break here. Team yell, get revenge for me, would ya? <laughs> of course I've got you covered, mate. What could be better than a battle in a lovely hotel lobby? Well, you could be outside. Out comes another dark type. This may not go well for everybody. Oh, the quick attack. Yeah. yeah. I guess we could probably rename this move Single Kick. Foot to the face. Muta levels up to 15. Still cranking that speed up, which is really nice to see. I must have got a bit carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. Yeah, you'd be told. Oh man, the swanky, sophisticated air in here had me off my game. I couldn't keep my cool. Also, tight disadvantage. Yeah. I wasn't expecting checking in would be such a big fuss, Jamie. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Don't think you can get ahead of me that easily. I need to get some training in. So I'm joining. Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon too. How can he do that and I can't? That's. I'm Hop, one of this year's gym challengers, and the one who's going to be the next champion. Now let's have us a nice two on two. I can already hear my victory coming. The only sound you'll make is a whimper of defeat. Challenged by two team yell grunts. And this does not get any less confusing. What has that guy got? Is it like a double Vuvuzela or something? Wooloo! Hop sent out a level 10 Wooloo. I think we may have gone a bit overboard with the with the levelling. Um, Up, really. oh. Can I use my other kit on the other Pokemon? Please. No. That's not fair. Wooloo Defense Curls. Probably isn't the best. Move. 
And it's good night, Charlie. Down you go. My voice is unsure when I'm sad. I want to yell, but I'm unsure. I came to see the gym challenge opening ceremony, but this is awful. What can I say? You guys suck. Guess it was defeat that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. What are you lot doing here? Marnie? Uh, nothing. We, we, we was just... I know you're all terribly curious about the other gym challenges, but you've got to show a bit of restraint. Sorry about them. They're just a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around, cheering for me. I think they've let it all go to their heads a bit. Come on, you lot. Back home with you now. They're just so caught up with wanting to support me and all that they tend to get a bit shirty with other gym challengers. Sorry if they caused you any trouble. So, you're a gym challenger too? Team Yell, was it? Pretty impressed that you already have a set of fans to call your own. You're just standing there. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the buddy who drop in. Breezy was a day. Uh, you must be one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge. Uh, yeah. Yes, young Master Jamie. I see that the league has booked a room for you. And if I might, thank you for helping us out of a sticky situation with those hooligans earlier. I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. Not bedtime. Still light out. The sun is still up. Ten more minutes. Doesn't matter. He's not listening. The next morning, Hop is still practicing his throws. Morning. So this is it. How my legend really begins. Now, my legend. Watch out, Jamie. I'll beat you to Motorstoke Stadium. Dude, you're going to rupture a tendon or something. Seriously, can we not just have, like... We're going to just sit down, have a continental breakfast. Relax. Oh, you're here. So the gym challenge is finally starting. I wish you luck, but I'm afraid I'm going to be the one to win. <laughs> Do you think so? Ah, oh, this guy again. I'm just going to drop back onto the laptop and do a thing. What am I going to do? I'm going to pop back into here and I'm going to do that and I have 20 minutes, not bad. Bad at all. Okay, let's see if we can get to the gym challenge. That would be nice. Gym challenger, the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. No. No, I'm sick of it. Of course. You should have no problem making your own way through to the gym stadium, right? That's progress for a Pokemon game. <laughs> Normally the um, questions that you are asked to make a choice uh, on um, would be, um, please come and help help my granddaughter do a thing. You'd be like, no. No, don't be like that, please. No. No, don't be like that, please. No. No, don't be like that. I was just like, oh, ho, 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 ho. don't ask me a question. Do not give me a choice if the choice does not matter. Um, let's talk to these guys. 
Hello. Most of the companies here in Galar are owned by Chairman Rose. My favourite person is the champion. My favourite word is strongest. Okay. <laughs> My favourite word is execrable or something like that. Oh, that's a lovely... Uh, is that a Lapras? I'm not sure if that's supposed to have that there or if that's graffiti. Either way. The gym leaders battle each other separately from the gym challenge in order to determine who is stronger. Okay. That's presumably the fire. Pop in here. Make sure we have everything we need. So this is the upstairs tier. This is the upstairs tier of Motor Stoke. Whoa, 10 grand. Then again, they're TMs, so that's fair. Ah, we need to give the charcoal. So no new shop items have been... Um, I was going to talk to him, but okay. Let's move on. Okay, so the, the game is just not going to let me go that way. That's fine. That's fine. People here. Oh, hello. A silk skull. Boosts normal move. That reminds me. Let's get the bag and here we are. Sort attack. Give to Snickers. I don't think we have anyone who uses predominantly normal type moves actually. I think we're okay. Say this is a very, very interesting selection of Pokemon we have at the moment. Quite an eclectic group of um, types. This looks very stadiumy. Can I talk to you? Hello. Pokeballs, great balls. No blades, no bows. Oh well, he, <laughs> he is not talking to anyone. Hmm. This is that extra person we saw earlier. Presumably a map of the stadium. There's Hop, we're not talking to that guy. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to save it here and we'll call this stream here because we've been going roughly an hour and a half. Uh, thank you for joining me. Um, we will uh, take a break for a bit and then I think we will begin the gym challenge um, in a further stream a little bit later on today. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching and for joining me for Pokemon Shield. Um, I will see you in a bit. Thank mm -hmm. you.